Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. I'm gonna take a little break from the Heart of Stone expansion and we're gonna upgrade our Bear School uh, armor and weapons. So we're gonna do another scavenger hunt to try and upgrade the Bear School armor and the, both of the swords. We're at this kind of, well, uh, fortress I would call it. There might be a front door here somewhere. And this is where we would find the uh, Silver Sword Upgrade Diagram. I'm gonna show you on the map in a minute. So it looks like it's infested with harpies, but... On the map I started out at the Whale Graveyard over here. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. It's on the central, uh, central island, so Archkalic that is probably. And then we need to go to this Monster Den over here on the map. So uh, let's see what we can find. Probably a bear icon if Geralt would uh, enter this place. This place is actually pretty cool. Algols. And there we go, all, all ghouls defeated. Let's see if we can find anything here because this seems to be going quite the distance according to the map yeah indeed but first let's check out if there's any icons over here probably is somewhere over here maybe inside yeah inside there we go mm. i want to look around some the bear icon and it looks like there's more ghouls down there so let's keep quen equipped for now assassin's boots and let's delve deeper into the tower. Okay, that was deeper than I expected. Hello, ghouls! And there goes the other one. So two ghouls, all ghouls down. And there's more! Of course there's more! And there goes that one. Okay then, that was weird that that last one just popped out randomly afterwards there's a chest over here nothing that we can use but this is probably it the earth sign silver sword enhanced there we go okay so i'm gonna exit this uh this cave again and we'll go towards the boots upgrade diagram location so see you guys there in a minute look at this view well the marker points us into the direction of this place of power and i'm not really sure what roach is doing now but hey, let's uh, check out this place as of power as well. Oh shit, that was not place what I wanted power. to do. It's gotta be. Thought that was gonna be easier than that. But hey, let's try that again. Whoo! Yeah, there we go. Oh, don't, 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 don't go too far. Don't go too far. So let's draw from this at least, and then that gives us an axis sign intensity increase for uh, half an hour. And we also should be able to find something down here. So let's slide down the mountain like the cool guys do. And let's check out this cavern. I'm gonna check out the map first. So still on Art Skalic, I started out at Fornhalla in the southwest of the that island. And just followed the path up the mountain and then down the mountain again. And next to the place of power over there, it should be. So the boots diagram location the enhanced boots let's see if we can't find anything probably first have to check out the bear symbol there we go hmm. i want to look around some yes indeed boots we want boots so let's see this looks like a pretty big cave and what big caves of Much okay onion. fart jokes Okay, those three guys don't want anything of me. They are, they have names. So that's Dodger, Joe and Jesse. Okay then. Uh, let's go with Igni. Yeah, one of them is still farting. Oh. 
Yep, yeah, they are. Goodbye, Joe. And down he goes. Three rock trolls, cave troll livers, and I think that's... I think I have two potions that I couldn't make because I never killed a cave troll. And now I can actually do that, so let's take a look around first. It looks like this is a chest. Nope, the poker. Emerald. Ooh, this is very interesting. But, aside from the farting trolls, what else is there? Aside from the farting trolls. This looks like the chest we need. Yeah, enhanced ursine boots. There we go. I'm going to quickly loot everything here and then I'll head towards the armor upgrade diagram location. See you guys there in a minute again. The armor upgrade diagram is located in a grotto apparently and I already had the marker for it. So I'm going to quickly show you on the map. So still on the same island. We're uh, southeast of the island this time. Uh, east of the distillery we went to to find one of the ingredients we needed for the Grammist quest for that uh, alchemist that we needed to help out and there's the grotto so let's head in let's see what we can find well aside from probably one of those symbols first yeah there we go there we go and he says new quest, but that's of course not true, because we were following that already. So let's try... we need to loop around here apparently. Go deeper into the cave and I will probably get ambushed by something. I hear gurgling noises already. There's something over there. Head goal. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? These are brothers. Okay, hi. Let's uh, take control of one of them. And let's... Okay, they go down pretty easily. And this is an archer, so... The Grosbard Brothers. And they were guarding a chest. Thank you. I'm gonna be able to use those things. I don't think they will be carrying any interesting loot. A torch, and this is probably the chest we need. The Enhanced Ursine Armor. There we go. Uh, so now I'm gonna start the second part of this scavenger hunt to get the other three diagrams, the other three upgrade diagrams, and I'll see you guys at the next location. So next up, the gauntlets upgrade diagram, and we're encountering raids already. Jesus Christ, okay, hello. So let's go for the spectre oil and just wail on these guys. The Spectre Oil is really working out. Okay, that was a bit tougher than I expected, but hey. Let's see, we should find this icon first again. Yeah, there we go, there it is. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Yes, indeed. And I'm first going to check out the map. We're still on Art Skalic on the northern side this time. And we're north of Rome, or Rogne, I don't even know how to pronounce that, or a bit east of Kertrol, the harbor, over there between those two little lakes. So let's see what we can find. Seems like we need to get on top of the building here, or inside this watchtower. Yeah, it looks like it's simple as that. There we go, the gauntlets. That was easy. So let's get towards the steel sword diagram right now. So see you guys again in a second. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you think you can't get there. So for the next part I'm gonna check out the trousers upgrade diagram first because it's a bit closer. I started off at the Marlin coast and I headed north in a boat. A little boat because it's an island that I haven't, I don't have a marker for. So I'm gonna check out the map first. So the uh, the Marlin coast over here, you can't really see it right now, but because the, the fast travel points are gone. But this is Art Skalic, this is the island uh, to the west of it. I'm not really sure where what that island is exactly. 
But this is the Marlin Coast where we end the game as well. This is where we fight the Wild Hunt for the last time. And just north of that is just a little island over here. And that's where we need to go right now. And after a little boat trip... Okay, we take damage on the boat. It shouldn't be that big of a problem. I'm gonna leave the helm. And looks like we need to jump into that ice cavern over here. Is there a symbol over here somewhere? Well, at least there's a chest over here. Is this the chest? Yeah, we go. So that's right inside this uh, ice cavern at the location I showed on the map. Maybe check it one more time with the fast travel points this time. So uh, this is the Marland Coast on uh, the island of... I don't know what this is. Urskar. I don't know what this this island... Uh, normally there is information about the island, but I can't really find it right now. So this island, just to the, the west of uh, Artskalag itself. And to the north of the Marlin Coast. So, I'm gonna head back into my boat towards the final piece. So, uh, after a pretty longer, a bit of a longer boat trip, I'll see you guys again. And look at this. The last place where we need to go. Another island that I don't have a marker for. It looks pretty spooky. I'm gonna try and find a way in. And uh, I'll see you guys inside, probably. So you can access the island from the northern side, and apparently there are a lot of uh, pirates here. As in, a lot of pirates. So let me just take care of those, because they're pretty low level, so I'm just going to hack my way through this place. It's a massacre! Where are the archers? There's an archer over there. I'm just gonna try and kill that guy. Yeah, you can't aim for shit. And you're dead. So there's apparently a lot more. Oh, and I just stumble upon the correct chest immediately. So let's check out the map, shall we? So it's pretty northwest of uh, Artskalag itself. It's a little island between uh, Sforlog and the Eldberg Lighthouse. We've been to that lighthouse a few times, mainly because of that, the Phantom of Eldberg, the contract over there. And it's to the west of that. And there's, well, this place, this little fort over here, this creepy looking fort. And if you go towards the northern entrance and enter through that, that's that entrance over there, and this is where the chest is apparently, so let's open that up, take it for ourselves, and that concludes the scavenger quest. So now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna head towards the uh, blacksmith in Oxenford and the armorer in Oxenford and try our luck over there. So see you guys there in a minute. So back at Oxenford and of course we're gonna go towards the armor first and let's see if we can make that the enhanced your sign armor set completely. Greetings again. Hello good sir. I'd like you to craft something for me. Good luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Let's see what do we need what do we need. Enhanced ursine boots not a problem at all. Just basic materials, so I think I might be able to craft everything in one go. So the enhanced earth sign armor, yeah, I should have shut up. Meteorite silver plate, okay, that's not a problem, I think. And then we have the enhanced earth sign gauntlets, not a problem at all. There we go. And then we have the boots still left, the trousers, the trousers, never mind. The enhanced earth sign trousers, and we need... Hmm... A little bit of silver, four pieces of silver. So the meteorite silver plate and then the four pieces of silver. So let's see. I'm gonna check out the crafting components first to see if I can just 
Make that immediately. Meteorite silver plate component missing. Meteorite silver ingots. Of course, why not? Uh, I'm gonna make a few meteorite ingots first. Just because I don't probably need those. Meteorite silver ingots. One and then two. And then we can make the plate. The silver might actually be a problem. Although, I think I can do that by dismantling just plain old silver stuff. Silver ingot goes to silver ore, and then silver ore can be dismantled into silver. So I only need four pieces, but yeah, I'm gonna go for four pieces. We'll see later on if we need anything more. So let's get, gra get back into crafting. Close the boots, we've done that. The enhanced earth sign armor, we haven't done that. There we go. Chest armor, crafting components, and just built the trousers. There we go. So that's that. We have the armor, and now we're gonna go to the so blacksmith and see if he can't help us out with uh, the enhanced silver sword and the enhanced steel sword. Because that's also an upgrade we are gonna need, maybe. Because I might, I've told this before, but I might uh, switch to another armor set. Well, not maybe another armor set. I'm gonna mix and match when we get to the ground master equipment to see which perks can be of most use to us. So let's see. Hello, blacksmith. Ah. So uh, willing to craft something? Will you? And he is. They always are. So let's see, you don't need crossbow bolts, I do need the silver sword, so let's, it's probably all the way down there, earth sign silver sword enhanced, of course, two more meteorite silver ingots, and negredo, seriously, fuck, that might be a problem, um, I'm gonna first check out what the steel sword needs, maybe I can make that, then, yeah, okay, so I can make the steel sword, but, Nigredo is a bit of another story because that's one of those very rare alchemy components and I probably don't have enough to make that right now because I need white gold for that. And I'm gonna make the meteorite silver ingots and I'll get back to you in a second when I get the Nigredo as well. And I'm back. Okay, I found the, the necessary ingredients to craft uh, a single piece of Nigredo. And now we can make the earth sign silver sword enhanced. There we go. Okay, and of course for the moment supreme. Farewell. I'm gonna equip all of that so you can watch it in all its glory. Look at that. That is the enhanced bear armor, the enhanced earth sign armor, and of course the two swords. Look at that. So that's about it for this uh, episode. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope, hope it helped somebody. And uh, with that said, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode or series. Goodbye!